All right, joining me once again here on the Matthew Filipovich Show is George Wilson. George is the executive vice president of the oil company Dynamic Energy, and he's here to discuss a new study that found that climate change models are most likely overestimating the cooling power of clouds. George, thank you for being on the show again. Matthew, let me start out by saying, what the hell, clouds? I thought we had a deal here, not cool man you were supposed to help keep the planet cool and now all of a sudden you want to lie down on the job you lazy fluffy sons of bitches not that climate change and global warming is real because they're not and yet one study found that this might mean up to an additional 1.3 degrees warming than scientists previously estimated you know when I used to look up to the clouds, I would see the shape of a bunny, the shape of a puppy, the shape of endless piles of sweet, sweet cocaine. But now, now when I look up, all I see is big, poofy balls of lies and deceit. Well, I mean, the clouds themselves didn't lie. Are we going to allow clouds to get away with this? If only, if only there was some way to take power from the sky itself. You mean like wind and solar power? No, none of that hippie crap. I'm talking like if we could only frack the clouds, just frack them good, just frack them full of chemicals that rip them to shreds, that would show them. I mean, I don't think we have any other choice. We have to declare war on clouds. War on clouds? I mean, cumulus, stratus, cirrus, more like ISIS, am I right? Hell, we need to declare war on the entire bloody atmosphere for providing comfort and aid to the enemy. The enemy that is clouds. The sky itself is a very axis of evil if you think about it. We need to show them our strength by burning more fossil fuels, by fracking and shooting methane into the air. We'll show the clouds that they can run, but they can't hide. Yeah! We're gonna go. George Wilson from Dynamic Energy. We'll be right back. There's a dark sky approaching for clouds. 